Google Forms is an intuitive tool that makes it easy for you to create a form and collect data from your users. If your requirement is to create an order form or a payment form for registration, booking, membership, or an application form, then you may also want to collect payments as part of the form submissions. Calculations and payments are not supported by the native Google Forms. In this demo, we will see how you can collect payments using Google Forms. If you have created your form in Google Forms, then you can customize it using our Neatail or Pay Gateway add-on to calculate the amount and collect payments. Or you can use our order form or payment form templates to create your form and collect payments from your customers. Create a simple registration form for an event and collect a fee of 5 euros when a user submits a form. To enable payments, click on the add-on icon, click on Pay Gateway, click on Calculate Order Amount, select the currency, click on Next. Now in this case we want to charge a fixed fee of 5 euros so let's select the fixed amount option and enter 5 euros. Click on proceed. The edit page will open in a new tab to continue editing. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Click on the gear icon next to submit button. Button settings page will be displayed. Click on enable to collect payments. List of supported payment options will be displayed. Let's collect payments using credit or debit cards. To set up card payments, click on the configure link. We have integrated with Stripe for card payments. Enter your email and password to login. Enter the verification code to sign in. If you already have a Stripe account, you can easily select the saved information to create your Stripe connected account. Review your details and click on agree and submit to create your Stripe account. Click on back to form. The credit or debit cards option will be enabled. Click on save. Once you have enabled the payments, click on share. Copy the short link and share it with your users to collect responses. Let's submit a response and test how the form works. Open the form in a new tab, fill in the details and click on the submit button. Enter the card details to make the payment. Click on pay now to make the payment and submit the form. If the payment is successful, the response will be submitted and the thank you message will be displayed. The form responses will be recorded in Neatail, Google Forms and the link Google Sheets. To view the responses in Neatail, click on Orders. All the responses submitted by the users will be displayed under the submitted status. The orders abandoned by the users will be displayed under the abandoned status. You can click on an order to view the details. It will show the form responses along with the payment details. The status is marked as paid and it also includes a reference number. You can click on this reference link to view this transaction in the Stripe dashboard. If you have to process a refund, you can click on the refund button, enter the amount, select a reason and click on refund. To view the responses in Google Forms, click on Responses, click on Individual and you can view the responses submitted by the users. To sync the response to Google Sheets, click on Link to Sheets, click on Create. Whenever a user submits a response, it will be synced to the Google Sheets in real time. When you enable card payments, the default setting 
is to collect payments when the user submits a form. There are use cases such as in healthcare, travel, where it's preferable to get pre-authorization instead of collecting payments immediately. Neotail alerts you to get pre-authorization by enabling the withhold payment option. When this option is enabled, Neotail gets pre-authorization for the payments when the user submits a form. You can collect this payment anytime within the next seven days. Let's submit a response and see how pre-authorization works. The payment page shows that authorize your payment now with the hold feature. Enter the card details and click on pay now. The new orders will be displayed under the submitted status. For pre-authorized payments, you will see a lock icon next to the order number. You can click on an order to view the details. In the payment details section, you can see that the status has been marked as on hold. You can click on the collect link to collect the payments anytime within the next seven days. When you click on the collect link, it will ask you to confirm if you would like to collect the payment now. Click on proceed. The payment will be processed and the status will be marked as paid. You can click on the reference link to check this transaction in Stripe. 